perimeter around Hung Nam, evacuation port for the 10th Corps, contracts towards its last line as last convoys hurry along the roads to the port. For days, a vast fleet of ships has rushed its loading as Chinese troops closed in, held back only by a curtain of fire, a day and night methodical shelling to keep the enemy out of gun range of the docks. When Chinese troops trapped the 10th Corps in northeast Korea, Hung Nam, within the trap, was organized as an escape port. Now 105,000 troops, including two divisions of South Koreans and our Marine commandos, board the escape ships. Besides the men, more than 400,000 tons of equipment and supplies are saved to fight on another front. Factories and plant useful to the enemy and oil supplies which can't be offloaded are to be destroyed. More than 400 trucks and 30 locomotives will go up in flames. When evacuation is over, there'll be nothing to help the vast Chinese forces which lack modern transport. Many of Hung Nam's factories were destroyed from the air in the early days of the war. Now the rest go the same way by demolition squads. The houses of the people alone are left untouched. But North Korean documents are burned to make reorganization long and difficult. By night, the town is a blaze of flame. And in this strange war, the very flames helped the defenders because Chinese troops attacked mainly under cover of darkness. As the last line is reached, a 300-foot chimney is demolished to deny the Chinese gunners an aiming point. Into its base goes 1,500 pounds of TNT. That was a North Korean oil and alcohol store. Now the end is near. The big ships are gone and the landing craft come in for the rest as the guns speed up their fire. This is the danger moment as the long lines wind down to the waiting craft. Food stores which can't be saved are distributed to those who choose to remain in Hung Nam. And with grim prospects of hard times ahead, the cold, hungry people fight for flour and oatmeal. In their eagerness, many grabbed bags of fertilizer. But more than 80,000 civilians have already left, carried to safety by the big ships. Even the perimeter defences are called in, their work taken over by guns of the fleet and planes. This was no Dunkirk. That was an epic of bravery and improvisation in the face of overwhelming odds. This, the result of skilled planning and brilliant organisation. The Chinese counted the 10th Corps trapped and out of the war. Hung Nam foiled their plan and puts 100,000 armed and equipped men back into line as the United Nations face up to an imminent Chinese onslaught. <laughs>